Hey guys, you've probably been hearing some talk about Wi-Fi 6 and how fast it is. So what is it and why would you care or even upgrade to it? Well, we had the same questions and after some research, we've upgraded to this Asus Wi-Fi 6 router. Let me share some insights from our research. As technology is progressing, we seem to get more and more connected by introducing more phones, smart home devices like Google and Alexa, bringing Netflix and other TV streaming services into our home, and moving to the 4K world, which is slowly but surely moving into the 8K world. Our network requirements keep getting more and more demanding. This is why Wi-Fi standards have been evolving to suit the needs of the modern consumer. Let's start with the Wi-Fi certification in general. Until quite recently, these were named based on the standards 802.11 with the letters at the back to determine the iterations. Now that's been rebranded and made easier for the general consumer to understand. So 802.11N is Wi-Fi 4, AC is Wi-Fi 5, and AX is Wi-Fi 6. Since Wi-Fi 4 released in 2009, standards have been updated approximately every five years, with Wi-Fi 6 officially released in 2019. With each iteration of the standards, they include new features on top of the existing ones, thus making it backwards compatible. In the most part, that it is. There are some really old legacy devices which may have issues, but we're looking at early 2000s or maybe even earlier devices. We're also seeing much higher adoption of built-in Wi-Fi cards in laptops and PCs, and soon most of the consumer electronics will transition to it as well. So what do you get with Wi-Fi 6? Well, first, you get much faster speeds, as the theoretical limit is lifted due to the signal channels being a lot wider, which provides more bandwidth. Let's look at it as a motorway. The more lanes you add, the more vehicles can go across. There is a problem though. Original design only supports one device at a time, so it would only be used by your phone, your PC or your smart oven if you are that one person who has it. Until now, routers would do the hard work and switch back and forth between all devices one at a time. This was not an issue before as households only had a few Wi-Fi devices, but as smart devices get deployed, we now see households with 20, 30 or more devices all over the place and the router has to go between them all constantly. Not really efficient, right? This is where Wi-Fi 6 improves efficiency by introducing, and bear with me on this, Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiple Access, or OFDMA for short, which splits up the main channel into sub-channels for each individual device, thus providing independent bandwidth which can be utilized simultaneously. The other cool feature is Target Wake Up Time, or TWT for short, in the yesteryears, every radio device would constantly talk to the router and ensure they didn't lose the connection. This is solved by TWT. Now these devices can coordinate with the router and set up their own schedule, so they can wake up only when it's necessary and then go back to sleep. This technology still needs to be adopted by the manufacturers, but it will have a significant power saving across the board. There is another issue with Wi-Fi 6. Most of the world right now is not able to benefit from the speeds you may get through the device, as people are limited by the internet provider speeds, which are still quite low. This is a completely different story in Singapore. Right now, you get routers which are slower than the connection people are paying for. This is where we all miss out. Let's take us as an example. We're currently paying $40 for a gigabit connection, but we are only getting about 50 to 60% of the advertised speed of a Wi-Fi. This can be drastically changed by upgrading to a Wi-Fi 6 router. Here, with the Asus RT-AX56U, my Wi-Fi speed is simply astonishing. In a way, spending just a little bit more money on the router upgrade will be an investment into getting my money's worth from the connection I'm already paying for. To conclude, should you care about this or maybe even should you upgrade now? The answer is a resounding yes, providing you have at least one device which supports it. The reason I'm recommending it, even if not all of your devices support it, is because once the newer Wi-Fi devices have migrated to the more optimized network, the rest of the devices will have a less congested network and you will see an overall benefit. And as you acquire more Wi-Fi 6 devices, your network will be better and better, and you can utilize the better range, 
greater network capacity and efficiency, and also have a better battery life for your client devices. It is a win-win-win across the board. I hope it was useful. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up and subscribe for more. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.